This week we're mainly going to be working our gameplay demos but also applying to the apprenticeship um, so just need things like CV, um, completed tutorial, demo and cover letter. We're going to be speaking to Tom Wintle who worked on Zool. I ended up getting my permanent job on the same team that I did the placement with. It's daunting when you first step onto that big game team but um, it's just, it was just a case of telling myself it was okay not to understand how everything worked and that it's okay to ask people questions. The most useful things to bring into the actual job were around the sort of fundamentals of the language about having an understanding of how the file structures within a C++ project work. Having an understanding of what's going on behind the scenes there definitely really helps. So this week's been a bit of a quieter week. We've all been working on our portfolio demos. So this week I'd like to take you through some of the changes I made in my code. So one thing was there were quite a lot of magic numbers. There's numbers that there's no real explanation for. All of those kind of things I put into um, constants. For example, we've got pi. I wanted a quarter and three quarters so I could put things at specific points on the screen. So um, I've got all the sprite IDs in an enum. Another thing that I had to change was all of these used to be pointers to the player rather than a reference. You shouldn't really use a pointer unless there's a chance that the thing it's pointing to could be null. So this week we're going to be finishing off our portfolio demos um, to see if we get through to the final stage, which is the interviews. Yeah, I'm Owen, worked on Zool. I was sort of lead programmer on that. Now I'm working as a junior programmer at Sumo Sheffield. Hello, uh, I'm Rob. I worked on a lot of kind of design stuff on Zool. I ended up kind of transitioning into that and now I work as a junior game designer. At Simo. How did you start planning it initially? Like what you were going to do and who was going to do what? At first, we just had like loads of ideas and a lot of them were quite sprawling. So we had to be quite kind of selective. But then after that, because, you know, we were all kind of in the same boat, it was mostly just kind of, you know, what parts were we interested in? Although we were working quite independently, we were constantly talking through the team's chat about what we were doing. I think if you're too quick to try and scrape together something final, you'll end up like locking into some ideas that maybe none of you are that keen on later on. I think it's worth having a bit of time to sort of figure out what direction everyone wants to go in. And that means writing probably some really awful rushed code for a day that doesn't make it into the actual thing. 